Hi everybody, Cindy the Scrapologist. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm playing with pop dots today. And so I thought I'd show you one of the techniques that I really enjoy doing. Now, if you don't like fussy cutting, you're not going to like this project. I'll just tell you right from the very beginning. <laughs> I love fussy cutting. And so this is something that I do quite often in my books and um, scrapbooks, mini albums, junk journals. I, I do this technique a lot. Um, I love to fussy cut. I, it's such a great project for when I just want to craft in front of the TV watching a movie or something or sit out on my porch and listen to the birds and fussy cut with a glass of wine. It's just relaxing to me. So fussy cutting is involved. I'll, I'll warn you right now. <laughs> there are many different types of pop dots. Now, I haven't purchased pop dots in years because back probably seven or eight years ago, I was pop dotting everything and I bought so many that I still don't have to buy any. So I don't know if any of these things are still available. I'll try to do a search and put links below if I can find any of these, but there are many different types of pop dots. These are really nice ones. Um, these are 3D foam squares. And I don't know maybe if this is the manufacturer or if this is in the foreign language here. I do not know where I got these, but these are little squares and they're adhesive on both sides. So they're adhesive on that side and then you peel off a little thing here and it's adhesive on that side. Uh, these are, um, I really like, I really like these. Then you can just get, the, you can get, um, well, this is called www.teacherstape.com. It's removable foam tape. And so this comes off and I think it's meant to like stick on the wall if you want to put posters up on the wall or something like that. But these are little foam squares also. And they're a little thicker than the other ones. And then these are, see these I like because they're square. You don't, sometimes you want to get one right in the corner. You don't always want a circle. So I like having some square ones on hand. Here's, oh, here's a big giant one. We can get it out of there. Where did it go? There, it's way at the bottom. Here's a big giant one that I obviously have never used, but and it's very thick. That's probably why I didn't use it. I typically don't need anything this big, but they they come in all shapes and sizes. So here is one that is similar to this, but they are circles. Then these I got at Michael's. They're called Three, do three Do's Scratch Art Three Dimensional Picture Poster and Display Helper. And it's a hundred round foam shapes with pressure sensitive adhesives. So I bought, I think they have different shapes and I bought the circles. But um, these tend to be too thick for me. That's why they're still in here. My favorite are these 3D foam squares or circles. And then this is my all-time favorite. Hopefully you can still buy these. It's called Glue Dots brand adhesives. They come in different sizes. This is the mini, which is 3 sixteenths of an inch. But the thing I like about this, this box is totally thrashed right now, but it comes on a roll. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the dot. You can see it there, right there. And so usually, this one's kind of old, but usually you take this and just peel it off and put it, stick it on like that. But right now they're all stuck on the wrong side because this is so old. But they're just little tiny. I don't, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. Little tiny things of sticky. And these don't, 
these three sixteenth minis don't really pop anything up. They're more for if you have something tiny you have to glue down. But they have larger ones that will actually pop up your fussy cut from your surface. So anyway, there's lots and lots and lots of of uh, products available. I'm going to use these today and I'm just going to show you what I do. So the first thing is I like these Prima pads for fussy cutting. I used to buy all the Prima products but I don't know if they're doing this everywhere but there there's six um, no four of the same sheet. So you only get six designs in this entire paper pack. So I only like these for fussy cutting anymore. I used to do scrapbook, sorry for the glare. So I used to do scrapbook albums with these, but I don't anymore because you only get six designs. So, uh, <laughs> but they're really, really nice for fussy cutting. So let me pick some flowers here that I would like. See, so you get one, two, three, four of all the same thing. I don't want butterflies. I'm looking for flowers today. What else have we got? I'll go with I think I'll go with this one in the back. Hmm. No, I'm going to go with this one. Okay, let's cut this out. Ooh, we're we're expecting a big storm today, so my lighting, I can't get my lighting as bright as I'd like it to be. Hopefully you can see okay. I do have a professional light above my desk but then it it does need the outside lighting too and to kind of supplement it. <laughs> okay so what you'll need to do is pick two images that you like and cut out two of them. So let me get some bigger scissors here. And Cut out all of the leaves too. Okay, so once you cut out one of the images, <clears throat> then find where you want to put it on your page. Okay, I think I'm going to put I think I'm going to put it right here. So then what you do, or what I like to do, is then cut each of these individual individual components out. So I'm going to start with this big flower, or maybe these two flowers. Okay, so I cut out these two flowers and then I am going to pop them right over where they appear on here. You don't have to, you know, we could we could add to the flowers and kind of pop it here, but for this one I want to do it right here. Okay, and I'm going to use my little round pop dots. And you want to kind of have good coverage with your pop dots because otherwise if you just put them on either end then the middle is going to kind of sink in. So you want it to be, you want to have good coverage. And take off the little covers here. Whatever you call these. <laughs> covers, I don't know. These, oof, these ones are really super old. I'm having a little bit of difficulty working with them, but my hands also, as I've mentioned before, don't do well with little tiny 
Ah, peeled that one right off with little tiny things. That's why I really like these glue dots. I'm going to buy some more of these in the in the larger size because they're just a lot easier to work with. You don't have to peel all these little backings. That's the word I'm looking for. All these little backings off. Okay. And then we're going to put this right there. So this is what we have so far. I don't know if you're going to be able to really see it. It doesn't really give you the effect on camera that it does in real life, but hopefully you'll do this and you'll find out yourself that you really like it. Okay, um, I also like to sometimes pop up some more of the leaves too. I like this little set of leaves here. Okay, so I have a little tiny thing of leaves and let's maybe, I think we need something right here. So let's pop them up right there. I think I'm going to use these square ones. They're a little easier to use. They're not quite as old. Mm, no, actually I'm not. You know why? Because they're black. They're going to show. They're going to show a little more. So I am going to use the little white ones. And these are a little too big for this, so I'm just going to snip it in half there. Snip a little piece off. Oh, be nice if we stuck this down, huh? I think I'll probably just use my ATG gun for this. And I didn't stick down all of the sides yet. I just put some right here because I might want to put some things under there. Okay. Let's put these leaves in there. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's starting to look really pretty. And then, let's see. Maybe, let's cut out one of these butterflies and maybe pop up a butterfly right there. That would be pretty. And do we want any more leaves? Yeah, here's some more leaves. Let's cut that out and let's cut out the butterfly. Okay, so we have a pretty little golden butterfly here. Um, let's pop that up right there and maybe put... I broke these leaves by accident. Let's maybe put another leaf there. So let's pop up this little butterfly guy. And then maybe pop up a leaf right there. And then I'll put this leaf right here, but I won't pop that one up. There, I think that's a little better. But I still don't know if you can see the 3D-ness of it. But it's super pretty and very fun and looks looks really pretty in pages. So there, I'm having fun with my pop dots today. 
thank you very much for watching. I'll try to find some of these dots and put links down below. If I forget, remind me. I, sometimes I do that. And um, have fun fussy cutting. Learn, learn to enjoy it. You can do a lot of pretty things with it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.